What's good, everybody? It's Big Game James. I'm back in the building, man. I wanted to make a quick video right quick. Sorry last night. I was going to do the late night hype, but I was tired. Had a long night. Sun was over. Kids was over. All that good stuff. Thanksgiving. But just want to give my quick thoughts on the game last night. I mean, Cowboys did their thing. Uh, you know, it was a workmanlike effort. 33-10. to 10. It was never really in doubt, in my opinion. Um, you know, not a lot of great statistical game for the offense, but it was like workman like it was like get in, get out. Once again, the starters sat again, rest again. Hey, you can say what you want. I know we've been beating up bad teams. I know these teams ain't good, but the fact that we're killing them and guys are sitting out and resting, that's can never be a bad thing. When have you seen Dallas when we play bad teams, just blow them out? You feel me? Sometimes there's always, even when you saw Dallas beat bad teams before, we would always kind of struggle with them and then kind of win at the end or get upset. It would always be kind of something. We was never blowing out bad teams. And I'm not, you know, jumping up and doing cartwheels about it. But I am saying it's a good thing that you beating these teams like this and you're not playing around with them. Like, you know they're a bad team. You're destroying them like you're supposed to. You're not playing around with them. You're not letting them stay in the game. You're not letting them get confidence. You're not letting them do any of those things. So in that aspect, you're doing what you're supposed to do. And you got to be better when you're playing these top teams. We understand that. You had that Philly game. It didn't go through. You play them again in a few weeks. You can get that revenge. You probably could see the Niners again in these playoffs. You can get it back. So... They did what they're supposed to do. Um, you know, you can't really sit there and say there was a lot of standouts, but hey, let me give a shout out to Luke Schoonmaker. I was heavy, critical. Uh, I ain't backing off of him saying, oh, he's done hit the light, but hey, they threw him a touchdown. He held on to it. Maybe he heard the tweet. I don't, I totally doubt that, but you know, I'd like to think that, hey, I said was critical of him. Maybe he need to sit down a little bit. They went to him on a great pass by Dak, and he held on to it. He took a big shot, and he held on to it. Shout out to you, Luke Schoonmaker, for holding on that ball and getting that touchdown. Shout out to Deron Bland for getting six interceptions, four return for touchdowns unheard of. I'm just sick and sad that Trevin Diggs isn't here because how much better would that defensive secondary be if you had Diggs, who already had one interception, was looking like he was going to take his game to another level this year but it's a good thing that Bland developed even more. So now you got bookends coming in next season because uh, we don't know if Gilly's coming back, but you do now have two starting outside corners, and now all you can do is you can flex your inside. So your, back, your defensive backfield and you signed your safeties, you're kind of set right there. So that's something you don't have to worry about for a little bit, so that's a good thing. Um, defense went ham. We had like six sacks. Michael Parsons. Excuse me. He said he heard the noise about slowing down. Hey, get back in them, them, that, that media and tell him he ain't doing this and doing that because let him keep on hearing he ain't doing nothing so he can just have some some even more motivation to go out and kill it. He had two and a half sacks, I think like six tackles. Defense did what it's supposed to do. But the big news is Jerry Jones is inducting Jimmy Johnson in the ring of honor finally i think was the last home game i believe is it the last home game december 30th i think and we've been waiting for that for years and years and years right we've been waiting for that for years um and it finally happened and i'm not gonna sit there and just go i'm going crazy i was happy yesterday but you know i wasn't like oh my god oh my god I'm just happy now that Jerry is just seeing that, hey, I'm 81 years old. I ain't got nothing much longer probably here to do this. And whatever we got to do to get this chip before I go, I want to do it. So that's why the angle I'm feeling like he came from. Like, hey, whatever we got to do, if I got to bury this hatchet to get this chip, I want a, I want a championship. We got a good team. Dallas has have good teams. They're not in salary cap hell because they do a certain kind of model that doesn't put them in that. They're in good financial standing. They got guys signed up. You got a relatively young team. You got a quarterback who's playing like lights out that I've never seen him play like this. 
you're backing off. You're more of a passing team now than a running team. I haven't seen that in a long time when we're pass dominated, except like 2020, we were just throwing the ball, chucking it everywhere. But you still had Ezekiel Elliott. You don't have that. You got regular running backs now, so you're really leaning on the pass game more than you ever have, in my opinion, in a long time. We've passed the ball before. I'm not saying that. They've passed the ball before, but they've always had a top running back back there, and I've explained that before. Right now, you just got running backs, so it's more on deck and this offensive throwing than anything, and the philosophy switched, and it switched in mid-year, mid-season. You got acquisitions to say we're trying to get over the hump. You drafted players that you haven't drafted before. You feel me? And now you're putting Jimmy Johnson in the ring of honor. I'm sitting there saying now you have the opportunity to go to a Super Bowl because that, to me, was one of the things that was standing in the way from the Cowboys getting to a Super Bowl was Jerry Jones in the way with Jimmy Johnson holding that thing back because I felt like it was a curse. And a lot of us Cowboys fans felt it was the same way. Because both of y'all won this together, man. And for you not to put them in, just a travesty because y'all both did it. Let bygones be bygones. That's over. That happened over 30 years ago, man. Let that go and move on. And I'm glad he's doing the right thing. And I feel like now, I, I say that we're going to the Super Bowl. That was just in jest. But I feel like now those things stay out the way. Just like I told you about Mike Brown from the Cincinnati Bengals. I'm out here in Ohio, and I've seen how he was always in the way. He moved out the way finally. They went to the chip. They didn't win it, but they went. And now I feel like you have an opportunity to actually do that because you're continuing to remove yourself a little by little out the way and let your guys be able to do it. We know Will McClay is really the guy. Stephen Jones does make a lot of decisions. Jerry just a mouth. But the fact that he still did that, they all were in agreement of doing that. I feel like it breaks a curse. I feel like it opens a door for capabilities to go to the Super Bowl. Now we can't sit there and say, Man, if Jerry would just do this, if Jerry would back off and do this, he's doing those things. The Joneses are doing those things in that aspect. I still don't trust Steven, but they're doing that aspect of showing us change and say we can do change because we're trying to get to a chip and we'll do whatever it would take. So I don't know if they're doing whatever it takes, but it looks better than it ever has. And the fact that they did that one big step, Let's me know that there's hope that they can get to a chip now. They can get to a championship game. They can get to a Super Bowl because things are removing out of their ways for them to be able to do it. And I like seeing that. And I hope, um, you know, they got the team that can do it. They have the window that can do it. There's no top dominant teams in the NFC right now. It's Philly, Dallas, Eagle, Philly, Dallas, San Francisco, Detroit. Those are your top squads. And Detroit still has to prove it in an essence like Dallas. So you looking at that window, I don't see any other teams making some super come up in these next two or three years. So there's a window for Cowboys to get still. But they got to make it happen. But with this happening with Jerry Jones and Jimmy Johnson, I believe that opens the door for it to happen. And that makes me a little better, feel better as a Cowboys fan. Talk to you all later this week. Happy Thanksgiving to you all out in the streets. Big Game James, I'm out. Peace.